but they they are very inquisitive and I got two tripods two cameras one very expensive camera um, and if they were to knock it over I'd probably start eating meat again <laughs> um, so the tree is So it might seem crazy that uh, I've got these beautiful views and walked up this hill for a view and uh, I've gone inside this little <laughs> this little uh, copse of these, these I always get drawn back to shapes just incredible uh, and the way that they're just just the way they're formed so many interesting shapes textures colors and in a nice sort of hazy misty morning there's quite a lot of atmosphere in here. So, I've got the 24 to 70 on. I'm around 40 mil. I'm filling the right hand, the right hand side of my picture with this big tree right on my right hand side, right in front of me. And we've got a tree sort of opposite third on my left. And they're both catching some nice ambient sort of light. And you've got a third tree way up in the distance where the path goes around. And it's catching a bit of light in the background, it's like a silhouette. So the image has got layers, and the middle of the my scene uh, has got light on it now. Um, there's nothing really going on. Um, this shot is not going to win any awards, but it's a good exercise of composition uh, and settings because very hard to shoot a shot like this um, and get everything in focus. I'm shooting F16 to eliminate any focus stacking. I don't believe it needs focus stacking. Uh, and F16, I'm getting sharpness pretty much where everywhere where I want it. Um, but that does mean that I'm closing up my lens quite a bit. So I'm shooting around four seconds and bracketing because it is such a high dynamic range. Uh, don't really think I'll get it all in one go. So yeah, it's a nice image. There's plenty of information there where I can uh, pull out in Photoshop. The only downside to it is I have got some move, moving foliage up in the top, um, which is a bit distracting. Uh, and what I might do is take a faster shutter speed if I can at a higher ISO and try and use that and blend that top corner in just to take so it's your eyes and get pulled to it because it is quite distracting but other than that not a bad start I think what I'll do now is I'll head out I had a couple of images in mind that were just too dark this morning um, big tree I walked past in the, in the uh, b-roll on the bend uh, was a shot I was thinking of <clears throat> but I don't think there's enough mist up here at the higher level uh, and there was another shot down, further down, so I might see if I can grab that as well. If not, be out onto the onto the top there, behind you. And just see if I can pick something out with a long lens. Just love it up here. It's absolutely gorgeous. The noises of the birds. I'm usually here on my own, other than the odd runner. Yeah, it's pretty
<clears throat> so I almost, almost went back inside, <laughs> back down into the woods, but see this lovely little sort of copse of trees in the corner of the field, the field comes down. Sorry, I'm just capturing the light as it as it as it's coming in. The mist is being illuminated now. It's absolutely stunning up here. Ah, oh, absolutely gorgeous. Can't really describe it. It's so peaceful. The mist is the mist and the atmosphere is just insane. Um, obviously shooting on the long lens. Um, like I said, I've got a diagonal going down. The trees sort of come around on a, like a triangle, on a triangle. So there's shapes, there's texture with the trees. There's mist, there's haze, and all the light coming from the top down. So I'm already thinking about what I can do in Photoshop. Yeah, really nice, really nice image. No, I don't really know what to do. <laughs> Might try and get maybe one, one, at least one more composition from up here, and then I'm going to go down and see if I can photograph this tree that I was on about. Back where I was a minute ago, shooting them trees there, it's, it's going to be good in there as well, although very harsh now. Yeah, this goes to prove, don't throw the towel in until the very last minute. I'd have been absolutely gutted if that sun had come out like it has now and I'd have gone halfway down. I'd have been scrambling back up here, so so yeah. What a morning, what a morning. This was the tree I wanted to shoot. Uh, it's got some really gnarly roots to it which come out of the ground. And then we've got this path which sort of leads round down into the frame. And I was going to feel this tree, cut the frame off here, and then use the path, and then use the tree like a frame. But. I don't think it's going to particularly work, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move back down towards the car and see if I can get a shot of this lovely little collection of trees that I see and they'll be catching some nice warm glow. So I think I'm going to go, I'm going to go and do that and I could always come back to this. Uh, this is not going to change too much. There isn't enough mist and fog. Uh, the trouble is what you got is in the mornings when the mist and fog's here, it's so dark in here. That you don't have, you don't have, you can't have both. You have one or the other. You either have it nice and lit up and around here, and then it's too harsh in these areas because uh, this shot will include a little bit of sky. Uh, so you, yeah, you can't have both. Um, unfortunately, you can't have both. I've just seen a little fox cub, so I think what I'm going to do is get my 7200 out and have a little walk with it and just see if I can see anything. Yeah, what a stunning morning. Absolutely gorgeous. Now we have the, uh, <laughs> the cows to contend with. I didn't see that fox. I think he's long gone. But the trees you want to photograph are just. Uh, I'm going to get my bearings and just over this way. So I wanted to get myself down through these cows and then photograph over the top of them. Hopefully they're not in the way. They're very inquisitive, like he's coming to have a look. Hey, buddy.
So many young cows, little little calves. They're even more inquisitive. Right, let's see if I can grab this, uh, this other shot. The mist is hanging around, but now that sun's getting quite harsh. It won't hang around forever, so I need to be quick. So as you can see, I have an audience, <laughs> literally surrounded by cows. Uh, so I'm going to keep this quick. Um, the cows don't bother me, but they they are very inquisitive. And I've got two tripods, two cameras, one very expensive camera. Um, and if they were to knock it over, I'd probably start eating meat again. <laughs> um, so the tree is off yonder in the distance. And there's some nice sort of like uh, wild sort of weedy flowers. Uh, I don't know the name of them. Um, and it's a lovely tree. I'm not entirely sure what type of tree it is, but it's a lovely tree. There's a little bit of atmosphere still, a little bit of haze. It's a nice directional light, which is getting harsher by the minute. So I'm shooting F11 around a 20, 125th of a second ISO 100. I might try and make that a little bit quicker because I want to freeze the tree. The tree is hey, the tree, <laughs> the tree is uh, is swaying a little bit. So what I might do is bump up my ISO to let's just say 200. That's giving me a fortieth of a second, so hopefully I will capture and freeze that motion. Right, get out of it, boy. I'm going to get on, because uh, I've got cows everywhere. <laughs> and as adorable as they are, I don't want them knocking anything over. Or standing all over me, for that matter. Come on, get out. So thank you so much for watching, um, I really hope you've enjoyed this video, it's been quite fruitful I think. Um, absolutely stunning up here, uh, overlooking the Vela Pusey. Uh, I just, it's one of my absolute favourite places to go and just unwind. Even if it is stupid o'clock, I think I was up at 4 o'clock this morning. Uh, so yeah, anyway. Get out of it! <laughs> God! Right, thank you so much for watching. I'm Foot Ninja. This is the Vale of Pusey, and uh, I will see you next week. And don't forget, thank you to everyone again buying more prints. Uh, I've sold more prints yet again, and I've started to book up one to one, one to one workshops as well. So if you are interested, head over to my website, photoninjaphotography.com, and uh, fill out a little form, and we'll book you in for a one to one. Uh, we can come shoot these. Not the cows, we can come and shoot these views. Uh, we can go and do some woodland. Uh, I've got some fantastic woodland near me. Uh, I've got Savanac Forest, which is the largest ancient oak woodland, uh, privately owned woodland in the country. Uh, and the West Woods, which is famous for its blue boughs. Um, but is also a very stunning beach, predominantly beach woodland. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Foot Ninja. Uh, <laughs> these are these really uh, inquisitive cows. I will see you next week. Ciao.